Today I'm going to be turning the Penn State Music Twist Pin. This is the blank that they show in the catalog mated to the kit and I really thought it looked nice so I thought I'd, I'd duplicate what they have done in the catalog and I purchased the same blank that they use. So this should be a pretty easy turn since the blank is already round. Despite sharpening my tools right before I started turning this blank, I still had issue with, with getting the blank turned. I actually skipped down here on the front of the blank and took a few little chips out of it. Um, I took the skew and cleaned it up as best I could. I don't want to go below the bushing. Uh, I'm hoping that I'll be able to take a little sand or a little uh, micro mesh and clean that up. I think I may actually take some 400 grit sandpaper and work on that first to see if I can kind of smooth it out. They're not very deep, uh, but let's see what we can do. Yeah, they really show up a little better as I sand because the uh, sandpaper is, or the dust is getting into the uh, little mix. They are getting lighter. Let's get a clean piece. 
I actually backed up to my 320. We're going to do a little bit of sand with 320 and then hit it with 400. They are deeper than I thought. I'm going to go ahead and micro mesh this. And then what I'm going to do is come back and I'm going to fill these little nicks with CA glue. All right, the blank looks really nice. I can still see my little nicks down in there. Um, what I'm gonna do is we're going to fill them with CA. I'm just gonna use some thin CA and I'm gonna wipe a couple of coats onto this blank. And what they'll do is as I apply the coats, it'll level the blank and I'll come back and micro mesh the CA off which will take the surface CA off and take it back down to the acrylic uh, blank but the CA that is in those little nicks will stay in there as a fill. I went ahead and put my non-stick bushings on because what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this with a couple of coats of medium CA. It'll fill just a little bit faster They're looking better already. And I cannot see those nicks. They look good. They are, they are gone. What we're going to do is I'm going to let this dry a little bit. Actually, I've shot some activator on it. It is dry. I'm going to break the micro mesh ba pads back out and we're going to micro mesh this back down to the acrylic. Let's take a look at it. Looking pretty good. I can smell the plastic burning, so the CA came off the tip of that or the top of that pretty darn quick. I'll go ahead and run through the rest of the pads. Get a little dry piece of paper towel here and just take the excess moisture off both blanks so we can look at them. And they look really, really good. All right, let's get this off the lathe and get it assembled into a kit. I'm striking out all over with this pin. <laughs> I did not videotape the polishing of the pin with the Meguiar's Plastex. 
I thought I had the camera running. So far, all I've done is insert the nib and get it pressed in. And I've got the, uh, the center band partially pressed in. I was preparing to press, the, press it the rest of the way in uh, when I noticed the camera was off. So you didn't miss much. The uh, nib is super easy. There we go. Got a nice tight fit there. Now that we've got the center band pressed in, let's put our spring on our refill. Put it inside the front blank. And we can thread our transmission on. And very nice, very nice. Need to adjust our pin press a little bit. And let's put this little grommet into the back blank. All right, the clip, we put the threaded part of the drum through the clip, it's a little drum, and we're going to, once we get this, I don't want to cross thread it, so I'm trying to be careful about that. There we go. And that actually looks really, really nice. It's got a guitar clip. It's got a piano center band. It's got music notes just above the nib. And has a drum for a cap. I'd like to thank you for joining me in the shop. This music pen turned out really, really kind of cool. I think my son is going to love it. Um, nice kit, smooth operation with the transmission. All the parts fit beautifully. I'm really, really happy with it. I'd like to thank you for joining me in the shop tonight. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon.